Hello, this video is about WordPress Cookie Consent plugins. If you don't know what Cookie Consent is, it's an EU, that's European Union, directive that has been rolled out across the world and it means that if your website is served up to anybody from the EU then you need to display a pop-up on your website which tells the user about cookies and how your website uses them. Furthermore you need to link to a privacy policy page with instructions on how the user can reject cookies. Uh, so I'm a WordPress user and I've been considering using a script rather than a plugin because I always try to avoid the plugin route if possible but I know that not everybody feels that way and most people will defer to the plugin if there's one available and I've been looking through the wordpress.org plugin directory there's a few cookie plugins some of which haven't been updated in a while some of which have been updated more recently and there's one here that I'm looking at called UK cookie consent I've already tested it and it does work the only thing is it was last updated a year ago so it's not necessarily compatible with the latest version of WordPress however it's hard to ignore the fact 50,000 people have installed it and over 100 people have given it five stars so if there was any problem with compatibility between this plugin and the latest version of WordPress you would have thought that number would drop but it hasn't so you know I'm tempted to check that one out so you can either click the title of the plugin and download it as a zip file and you know do it manually yourself via FTP or you can do what most people probably do and go via the WordPress dashboard and add the plugin that way so let's do it that way add new cookie consent enter I'm guessing even if you're outside the UK this plugin would still work why it's called UK cookie consent I don't know a plugins a plugin surely I can't imagine it discriminates activate plugin and then when it's installed you want to go to settings and then come down to cookie consent okay this site uses cookies accept text no problem more info I'll tell you what I mean it's got the default settings and the default colors and all that let's load up the website shall we and see if it actually pops up and see what it looks like now I've set it to pop up from the bottom I know that a lot of people say you should have it come from the top but at the top I've got this like sticky nav bar so what this plugin will do the pop-up will appear over the top of my nav bar and it, it'll have a Z index of a high number so that means that it takes priority in the container stacking order so it will come over the top the text is this site uses cookies and if we go back to the dashboard this site uses cookies I'm going to put how do you feel about that <laughs> I'm just adding a bit of cheeky personality and the accept text is no problem I'm going to put I'm okay with that and then more info I'm going to put privacy policy and then it says info page permalink so it's assuming that you've got a page called cookie hyphen policy I suppose by default if you created a page called cookie policy that would be the permalink but that's not my permalink I know that for a fact so if I scroll down 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 and privacy policy there we, uh, that's the one privacy policy and the permalink for that is Darren forward slash privacy hyphen policy Darren forward slash privacy policy 
So I've actually created something called privacy policy and I've included information about cookies in there. That's the way I've done it and that's fine, you can do that. And how about changing the colours? Um, do I really want it to be grey? Uh, I don't know. They're the default colours. I think I'd like to use blue. My action colour for anything that can be clicked is blue. So what I can do is I can inspect the element and I can grab the CSS value for that colour. So that's it there. Look, 009CF6. If I highlight that and press Control and then tap the letter C, that puts it onto the clipboard. And what I can do now, hopefully, is paste in that value and it should choose that blue. So we're going to refresh it, obviously, before these changes take effect. I'm wondering also, this grey, this grey bar, I could change that to something else. Do I want it to be green? Mm, possibly. Let's go for that green. So that looks like the colour that I want. Control c to copy that. Bar colour. Uh, what's this? Text colour. Well, that's not going to stand out very well, is it? So I'll probably need to make the text white and the link colour. Uh, I think probably that blue, but we'll see. Okay. And it's at the bottom. So yeah, save changes. And then back to the site and we'll click refresh and <laughs> the entire bar has become blue how did I manage that oh I see I accidentally made that the wrong color let's get it closer to that green color all oh, right okay so now we've got it looking more like what I wanted. So that's always at the bottom, it's never at the top, which would interfere with my existing nav. Okay, so if I click I'm okay with that, it will disappear. Now the acid test for me is if I visit a different page, will the notification come back? Because I've seen this issue with other cookie notification pop-ups and it is a real nuisance when the visitor has already said I'm okay with that and it comes back okay that's doesn't appear to be coming back if I was to clear my history and then ref refresh the site theoretically the pop-up would come back if you've got any thoughts or comments or information about these cookie consent plugins let me know thanks bye